Welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we're going to be removing that thing right there. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's do it, shall we? It's a kitty, kitty, kitty cat at Mad Human Pizza. Jumping around. Before I get into this part removal, let's take a look at this kitty cat as it plays around. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get our gloves on. I always get this part dirty right on my wrist because these stupid gloves, they fold over like that, just like so. Unbelievable. But it keeps most of my hands clean. This is a 10 millimeter and there's two fasteners back here. Oh, I don't want to get my camera dirty. Take my glove off and zoom in. There's two fasteners. One's right behind there. And I have that right on the fastener with an extension. So a 3 8 inch drive. You can use one of them you want to use. But there's two of them back there. I'm going to take those off and I'm going to look at the part number. And I'm going to... This either went to the power steering reservoir or the air conditioning and uh, get a professional to evacuate your AC uh, AC lines and then once you have a person do that then you can get right into it and get the rest of it okay 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 I took those two fasteners off and there's a plug here and you take off it was already taken off before and there was a, um, a line going there that was taken off and a very big line that was taken off there. So take those off. Um, this looks like an evaporator, but I'm not sure yet. So I'll have to look at the part number on the model once it I get It is called an accumulator off, which is, dryer. I have no idea what it's, it's does, still that's connected back there. I'll have to get a wrench. Let me get a different view on this thing. There is a, oh my goodness. Say hello, hi, hello, exhaust part that went into the bottom of a, I don't know if it was a catalytic converter or, a, well, that part, and then it went up to the um, exhaust manifold. Anyway, there's this part back here. Just gotta get that, get a wrench on that and take that off. And put a pan, paint underneath and collect your fluids, but get a professional work on AC compartment components so I could do that and then I'm gonna take the rest off okay up in the engine bay right now and it's really fun getting this off you need two wrenches one wrench is hold holds one um, part of this and the other wrench holds the other so you have to do one of these deals back and forth if I can get that in camera I got a 15 16 inch and a 1 and 1 16th inch. Let me show you some of this action. So there it is. So that's, that's where all the action is taking place. Uh, let me see if I can hold it steady while I do this. Okay, so I hate how this gets the wrist all dirty, but anyway, leave one on there. And sometimes it can be tricky to know which way to go with some of these hoses because it gets all clockwise and counterclockwise. It gets all messed up depending on what ang what angle you are looking at this piece of crap so let's see this is just about loose i rounded off this a little bit so only a couple of them work so come on Dang it. let's turn it around like that turn 
turn and eventually you'll have it off. Get a little mixed up here. As long as you're holding one over here, holding that one in while you're turning this one. And there's only, it's like a 50-50 shot. I mean, you can be turning one way and be like, oh, that's the wrong way to go. So you just, because you're it, it gets tighter and tighter until it gets too tight. And you're like, oh, that's tightening it. So you go the other way and it loosens it. It depends on what your perspective is. See, I'm going left counterclockwise right now, but you know, the other one, I'm holding it there. So it's, it's a little confusing and I don't know if I can do it with my fingers yet. Yeah, a little bit, but not, not all the way. So this is the Manhattan Pizza Channel here and this is uh, a lot of fun here. I just do this. So your back hurts and your your butt's all dirty from sitting in the engine bay and you got cardboard on the ground so you can walk on so you're not walking on the grass and dirt getting your feet all dirty but taking all the precautions you can but I did have a cut on my knee last year and I I didn't know about it and I put my knee into the ground and I got a big old infection I get antibiotics and when you you get an infection you make sure you get an antibiotics from a doctor really quickly or because it got infected i had uh oh it was spreading my whole leg was black and red and sepsis yeah that's what it was sepsis my antibiotics cured it there we go took that off there and i'll get different positions with my back killing it You see some of the connections were already taken out so but the ones I took out were that one and there's a container down there collecting that so don't fright don't fret but there's that and then the two fasteners went on right there and then the electrical connection went on right there and the connection there and a connection there seems to be there it is in all its glory what seems to be power steering fluid inside so it smells like but I'll have to look up the part there is no part numbers on it because it's all been rusted away or through the sands of time has washed away any letters and numbers that were stamped on it from a, from a machine hold on there's an ant Okay, anyway, so the sands of time have washed away the past of this part. It's on a Mazda 626, and I'll have to use the, the internet to uh, figure out what part this is. It'll be a bold search, a very glorious search to try to figure out what this part's called. But it had various attachments and connections and pipes and fluids running through it so it almost looks like a um like an enemy or a, a game or something looks like a bad guy doesn't it look at it see it just has like this evil look to it doesn't it like it's twisted like here's its arms like here's the eyes and the, the head and the arms can you see it looks like a, a minion or something i don't know Anyway, this has been another Mad Human Pizza video. Have a great day.